hypocellular pink nodule, spindle cells. Here, I'll flip the condenser. That's a little helpful sometimes. Sclerotic fibroma. Very good. Sclerotic fibroma. It's got the swirling, whirling pattern uh, that some people have likened to the wood grain or plywood appearance. And then it's collagen with cracks in between. So these cracks and collagen swirl together with the plywood appearance. I feel like um, you see that sometimes better here. If you have a light microscope and you can flip the condenser, it makes three-dimensional things and spaces stand out better. See, so look, without, with it turned on. I think it's better. You can decide what you think. And it's hypocellular bland spindle cells, dense collagen, cracks and swirls, okay? Um, the uh, neurofibromas could look like this, tend to be a bit more cellular and not quite as sclerotic. Sometimes it's a little hard on a, a light microscope a projection like this too, to get a feel of like, is the collagen really sclerotic or is it pale because it's got some mixoidy change? So if you struggle with that, yeah, that's the uh, And this one's a little bit faded on it, honestly too, or the H&E wasn't as strong. One other thought I would think of is perineurioma because of the swirling and whirling. So you could easily do perineurial markers. Some perineuriomas can become quite sclerotic and look like this. So that'd be another thing. And then people have suggested that sclerotic fibroma, the plywood pattern is, is actually in a variety of different, uh, different entities can have that similar pattern. So I do think that they are a thing, but there are some times where you see this plywood pattern in dermatic fibromas or perineuriomas or other stuff. So, you know, if I found this, but then at the edge, it looked like dermatic fibroma, I'd probably just call it, oh, it's a DF that's got some sclerotic fibroma pattern in it. But when these are solitary lesions um, uh, they, and don't have any other features or stain for anything else, we call them sclerotic fibromas. They can express CD34, just like a lot of fibroblastic things. And when patients have multiple, they can be associated with what syndrome? How oh, Cowden syndrome, very good. But you know, when they're solitary, most of the time when I've seen these, they've been solitary um, and no known uh, syndromic association in those patients. But but they were first described as you know Cowden syndrome related fibromas, and then over time people recognized. I think Ron Rapini was one of the early people to recognize that that these um, that these can just be sporadic um, as well. So um, and the other name that some people call them is um, story form collagenoma. And um, I, I sometimes like to call them sclerotic fibroma of Rapini to honor uh, Dr. Rapini, who was uh, a really great um, inspirational mentor to me um, in my pursuit of dermpath.